All right, let's drive. This is going to be one take. This narration is not going to be perfect. I struggled for a couple of weeks to see how I was going to tell this incredible story about Todd Fossey and his daily practice towards mastery and achievement. I thought about writing it down. I thought about having him write it down. But I thought this might be the best way is to just sort of drive around, empty my mind while it is intently focused on doing something, if that makes sense. I think that's in line with Todd's philosophies, is amidst the chaos of, of daily life and the responsibilities that we have to go through, that we find moments of focus, of deep practice. Todd wakes up every morning, he eats breakfast, and then he walks across his driveway to his training facility. The fact that he walks across his driveway is significant because there is no lag time between inspiration and the ability to execute upon that inspiration. It's a lot like me, you know, I work from home. My hard drive, my camera equipment, and my post-production suite, first of all, they're all mobile and I can take it anywhere. But the fact that I can have it at home means that even in the middle of the night, if I get inspired by a thought or a creative impulse, I'm only a few steps away from being able to explore that impulse, from being able to realize its potential or to dismiss it. But the fact remains that I get to explore, that I get to try it out, that I get to practice, that I get to work on it. Whether or not that manifests into a video piece is inconsequential to the fact that I get to execute on an idea. And the same goes for Todd Fossey. I thought it was rather strange what Todd was doing. He was listening to music, something that others may find to be distracting, but I think it is the type of music that he chooses, that engages parts of his being, that ignites purpose and desire and passion, and it brings a cadence to his practice that is known. Todd goes through repetition after repetition after repetition of draw strokes, presentation, and shots. Draw stroke, presentation, shot. Draw stroke, presentation, shot. And then multiple shots, and then movement, and then layers of complexity upon a foundation of simplicity. I didn't understand what was going on. During this practice, Todd and I barely spoke. He was in the zone and I was in my zone. I wanted to document precisely what was happening even though I didn't understand it. The principles of documentation remained the same for me. I needed to disappear and I needed to capture this from as many perspectives and angles as I can so that later I can sit down and analyze what I've gotten and try to make sense of it all. And here's what I've come up with. This song reminds me of my wife. I think Todd's practice is purposeful. I think it amounts to something. I think it kickstarts his day. I think it puts his motivation and intention into focus. I think it internalizes all of the drills, all of the concepts that he teaches. And he's constantly pressing it up against himself to see if it presses back to see if it pushes back. And he's constantly finding ways to challenge his own drills. This is not just repetition. There is something that is intangible going on here. There is something imperceptible to the lens happening here that doesn't come with just watching something. 
it doesn't come to you unless you practice it, unless you understand it, unless you apply it into your own life. This method, this system of deep practice, of ignition and reignition, of sparking these neural pathways so that they become strengthened, more insulated from decay. And this is a daily practice. This is a daily purposeful, mindful practice that Todd does each and every day, all for the purpose of slowing this inevitable decay of information that we all go through. These skills are perishable. And so we must take steps to prevent the perishability or to slow down the decay of these learned skills. Todd Fossey does this every single day, sometimes for 10 minutes, sometimes for 20, sometimes for over an hour, but daily. Daily practice, deep practice. The ability to transition from living to exploring. The ability to transition from calm to this intense, creative, fluid, and dynamic energy does something to a human being. It does something to one's understanding. It does something to one's practice. It does something that martial artists, lifelong martial artists understand. And despite the fact that Todd Fossey does not see himself as a martial artist, I see him as a martial artist. The term martial arts needs redefinition. It needs re-examination at the very least. It has been corrupted. It's been tainted. It's been overused. It's become cliche. In some circles, it's become meaningless. But this is precisely what a martial artist does each and every day. These things I find in common, whether or not people choose to label themselves as martial artists, what I see here is a deep practice of martial arts. This is mindful, this is thoughtful, this is purposeful, this is with passion and enthusiasm, it is with purpose, it is with drive, it is with reason. This is martial arts. Todd Fossey stands there and listens to his music. And he thinks with the cadence of that music because he understands where this song is going to go. It is going to start slow and it is going to ramp up. And it is going to hit a crescendo, a peak, a moment. And then. It is going to slow down. It is going to calm. It is going to give him a moment of reflection. It is going to give him a moment to digest and process exactly what he's done, regardless of how many times he has done it. And it's very easy to fall into routine and to simply go through the motions and to simply get the reps in for the sake of get the reps in for the sake of repetition, which in and of itself has tremendous value. What more if we put mindfulness, if we alchemize repetition into something other than motion, when we integrate our brain power into repetition and marry it with purpose and passion and intention, what can that become? And what can happen to a human being when they do this every single day. This is what Todd Fossey does with his practice. This is how mastery is achieved. Shed ego, make mistakes, be hard on yourself, and just as quickly lift yourself up and encourage yourself and challenge yourself 
and repeat, repeat, repeat with mindfulness and purpose, this is how mastery is achieved. This is how innovation happens. This is the environment in which creation cannot just happen. It can be repeated. Todd Fossey does this each and every day.